let's compare hard and symbolic links on Linux machines. So what are hard and symbolic links? First of all, we have this machine, we have a directory. So I do a directory listing right here, and I see there is this file called wishes.txt. Okay. So you can do symbolic links and hard links with the ln command. So if I look at man ln, I can see make links between files. And it has information about, well, how to do it. The interesting thing right here is the minus s for symbolic. So let's compare and see what the difference is. So I have this file. You can cat out the contents, wishes. If fishes were wishes, I would hope mine were Saba, which is macro because I like sushi and Saba is good. So if you try sushi, try Saba. Okay, so what do we do? Do ln minus s, and we call this symbolic.txt. And so I want to put in the wishes right here, wishes. So okay, ln minus s wishes dot txt symbolic dot txt if i do a directory listing now i can see that there is a symbolic dot txt file which points to wishes dot txt now let's do a hard link and then we can compare them and see what the difference is ln wishes dot txt and we will have hard dot txt do a directory listing, and suddenly you see this, well, I've changed the font thing here. <clears throat> and we can see something else. If you look right here, this number in the directory listing indicates the number of links pointing to that data. This right here is a one, so there's only one link pointing to some data, and this right here also has two. So let's add a second hard link ln hard2.txt, and we'll also point it to wishes. Uh, actually, that's backwards, isn't it? Wishes, point it to hard2.txt. And let's do another one just for fun. We'll say we want a link from hard2.txt, and we'll create a link called hard3.txt. So now, hard points to wishes, and hard2 points to wishes, and hard3 points to whatever hard2 was. And we take a look around in our directory, and we can see that there's a 4 next to all these things. What they're really doing is they're not pointing to wishes. Wishes.txt is the name of an entry that points to some spot in memory. And hard is pointing to that same spot in memory. And hard 2 is pointing to that same spot in memory. And hard 3 is also pointing to that exact same spot in memory. So all four of them are pointing to the exact same spot in memory. If I do a stat wishes.txt, I can see the file name is wishes.txt. I can see the size, information, the inode, and I can see that there are four links point to it. So I do the same thing with hard. So stat on hard txt. I can see that it is pointing to a different file name, but the inode on both of these things is exactly the same number. The links also the same number. So let's look at this, this symbolic one. So we do stat Symbolic.txt, well, it has one link and it points to a different location. Why is that? Well, it's not pointing to the same thing. Hard, hard2, hard3, and wishes are all pointing to that little message there. What the symbolic link is pointing to is actually, it's just listing data. It's listing a location. Symbolic.txt, all it really tells you is that we are pointing to wishes.txt. So if I cat out cat my symbolic.txt, I can see what it says. 
If I cat out wishes, I can see what it says. If I cat out hard two, I can see what it says. They all tell me the same thing. But when I start changing things, that's when things get different. So if I delete wishes, rm wishes, next txt, hard two, hard three, and hard were all pointing to the memory that wishes was pointing to. So wishes, hard two, three, and hard were all pointing to that exact same place in memory. The symbolic link on the other side, on the other hand, was not pointing to the memory. It was pointing to a file name. If I do a directory listing right now, uh, LS minus L, I can see hard two, hard three, and hard. Now I'll have a number three, three links. Symbolic also has a number of one, so it didn't change. But you can see the color right here changed and wishes, it's still pointing to wishes. So if I cat out my symbolic, it will say symbolic.txt, no such file or directory. Well, symbolic is there, but wishes.txt is not there. So that's what it's really telling me. If I create something new, so echo hello, and I put that into wishes, txt, then running the command would get me, let's see, cat symbolic, and it says hello. So now, symbolic is pointing to wishes.txt, but wishes is a different file than it used to be. Hard2, hard3, and hard are all still pointing to the same thing. So let's compare what happens when we edit these things. So, uh, let's go ahead and remove some. So remove hard two and hard three txt. And I want to try using a couple of different editors. Um, so while I'm doing that, uh, well, let's create some more some uh, more links, hard links. So hard dot txt is going to be pointing to. Uh, nano.txt and to vi.txt and to emacs.txt and let's also throw in gedit on gedit.txt. Okay, so if I do a directory listener right now, you can see all these files. They all have fives on them. They're all pointing to something. Now I can go ahead and delete the symbolic link. I don't know, I'll, I'll actually have, we'll put this symbolic link to the same thing now. I'll point it back to where it used to point to. So remove our symbolic link and remove wishes. And we'll have a ls minus, or ln minus s. And we will have hard to be pointed to by symbolic txt. There we go. Okay, now I can cut out my symbolic. I can see this this quote there. Now I want to um, install Emacs just because we we kind of need Emacs in order to be able to test Emacs. I need a root, so go install Emacs. Yeah, yeah. When the password Emacs gets installed, and then. Download all the packages and we install them. Now, normally you wouldn't want to use Emacs. It's it's a it's kind of a complex editor. You wouldn't want to use VI either, but it's kind of there all the time. Um, but Emacs is nice because it shows me something interesting. All right, which is basically how normal editors work. So I'll use VI first. VI on my VI.txt. And if wishes were fishes, I would hope mine were. And go to insert mode and changes. Um, one. Escape, right quit. Okay. And I go to use the nano. Now on the nano one. Nano. Nano.txt. Um, hmm. 
change it to salmon. Well, I want it to be tuna. All right, and now that did something probably as well. Let's see, oops. You can see what has happened is when I changed VI, we use the VI one, it went and changed it. And when I went use Nano, it went and changed it. Um, but let's check and see what Emacs and Gedit do now. So let's do Gedit first. G edit. G edit. You're probably wondering what's this all about. Well, let's tune it now. Let's figure out another fish. Let's say trout. And we'll save that. And we'll close it. Let's take a look. And it looks like everything got changed just fine, right? Cut out my G edit. It should say the trout. Cut out my VI. It says trout. Cut out my nano. It says trout. So all three of these did that. Now we'll do Emacs. Let's do no window. And we will do um, my Emacs. And let's say instead of trout, what other fish? We're running out of fish, aren't we? Uh, let's say cod. Okay. Now we cat out emacs.txt. It says cod. We cat out g edit. It says trout. Well, that's interesting. So we cat out nano and it says trout. And we cat out vi and it says trout. So what happened was when emacs edited the file, it took the original file and saved it as something else. This emacs.txt tilde thing and created a new file and then, well, it moved things over. If I cat out my symbol link, it still points to whatever this thing points to, but it's only based on whatever hard.txt has. So hard links then got a little bit broken. If I were to delete this file right here, emacs.txt tilde, emacs tilde, it still says trout in that one. If I delete that one, emacs underscore tilde, which is kind of my save file, then it is gone. And you can see the symbolic links, number of links or the hard links has changed from five down to four because emacs.txt is no longer pointing to the same thing. It's no longer linked together with everything else. And it's separate. So, what did we learn? We learned that symbolic links don't care where the actual memory is. It's just pointing to an address. And we learned that hard links point to a physical address in memory. And some editors will change the files in place. And some editors will create new files. And then replace the names. So hard links, symbolic links, something to keep in mind. And there you go.